Hello, I'm Andy, and I'm going to read you this story, Super Sloth, by Robert Starling. First of all, I'd like to give a big shout out to all the children at Sparkle Sheffield, and, uh, and a huge shout out to Angel too. Hope you like the story. In an ordinary jungle, up an ordinary tree, on an ordinary branch, there lived a very ordinary sloth. He hung out in the same place every day and nothing much really ever happened until one day it did. What a strange leaf, thought Sloth. It had little pictures drawn all over it and the pictures told a story. Sloth read it all day, all night and all the next day too. It was amazing. Wow, what if Sloth could be a superhero? All he needed was a costume like the one in the pictures. He already had a mask and he quickly found a cape. Then he was ready to go and save the day, very slowly. It wasn't long before his super sloth ears picked up a distant cry for help. Help, help, someone's stealing my mangoes. <laughs> Sloth rushed over. By the time he got there, it was too late. Botheration, said Sloth. It was that sneaky anteater, cried Toucan. I don't have a single mango left. Not to worry, Toucan, said Sloth. I'll climb up the highest tree, then I'll definitely spot the crook. Eventually, something streaked across the forest floor. Now I'll catch that sneaky anteater, cried Sloth. He stretched out his arms, spread his cape, and launched himself from the tree. Ha ha! Kaflump. Oh, bother, said Sloth. It didn't look this hard in the pictures. Well, I guess I'm not meant to be a superhero after all. The other animals were just as glum. If we don't get our fruit back from that greedy, guzzling anteater, we'll starve. It's no good, said Bear. We'll never get into his stronghold. He's got guards everywhere. Even his guards have guards. Bear had given Sloth an idea. Hmm. A Sloth isn't fast. A sloth can't fly, but a sloth is very, very good at moving slowly and looking just like a bit of a tree. Right! And this sloth was also very, very angry. Little by little, hour by hour, sloth crept closer and closer to Anteater's hideaway. And nobody noticed him, not the other animals, not the guards, not the guards of the guards, not even Anteater. And so it was that slow, old sloth with his mossy fur got all the way into Anteater's hidden mango stronghold. He got right up next to Anteater. <laughs> no more ants for me. And he said, boom. Terrified, Anteater and all his guards ran away. Sloth had done it! He got everyone's mangoes back. From that day on, wherever there were animals in trouble, whenever danger had to be faced, brave Super Sloth would be there. Eventually. <laughs> I hope you like that story. Thanks for listening.